Welcome to this new video that I am going to teach you here in Robone Technology. In this video you will learn a method where you can download your WhatsApp backups or backups that are in Google Drive and at the same time you can see the messages that contain your copies of security quickly and easily. Well let's start. First of all you have to download a software. I leave the link to download the software in the description of this video where you can download it from the official page totally legal and safe. I already have the installer here on my computer, so when you already have the installer too, then follow the steps that I am going to teach you in this video. Then since I already have it, I proceed to install it. Here we give it to install. Here you have to wait a moment for the software to be installed on the computer. Well here our software is already installed so we proceed to click start. Now we go to the option where it says restore, export WhatsApp backups, which is the third option. Well here. We click where it says import backups from Google Drive. Then here we enter our account of the account where are the backup copies of WhatsApp they have, for example here I enter mine. I have already entered my email, now I enter my password, that's it, when you have also entered your email and password. Then it's time to click on the next one, in this way. When this window appears where it says that your Google account needs authorization click here to authorize your Google account and then it shows the email, in my case in my email before authorizing you must deactivate the two-step verification of your account. If you have already logged into a Google account in your browser make sure it is the same email. If you don't have to change the account first, then for that, you are the first time so you click where it says the option click here and this window will appear. Allow access to your Google account then this window will appear that says allow access to your Google account as a security measure it is possible that Google asks you to perform this additional step when accessing a new application to a new device, for me as in our case of course for me to allow access click on the continue button, then we click continue. Account access was enabled, please try to access your Google account again from the new device or app. So now we give it here in ready. We give again in following. As we can see it is already loading well in my case it loads in just a few seconds and well these are my backups that I have on Google Drive there it says WhatsApp backup on Google Drive. First download your backup copy from Google Drive to local, then this helps us to download the backup copies or WhatsApp backups that we have in Google Drive and from here because that way we can download it since Google Drive cannot download but with this method if they can be downloaded. As you can see, the download signs appear here to be able to download it and convert the WhatsApp backups to local, that is, the backup copies, in my case I only have two backup copies on the drive. So I am going to download one so that you can see how this works. So I am going to do on and at the same time the dates also appear, in my case here, backup time of October 5th and the other is March 27th so I am going to download the most recent one which would be October 5th, so I am going to click here on the download icon and also at the same time because it appears in the size of each backup, for example. The first here appears to me as 8.52 megabytes and the second as 7.92 megabytes, so I am going to download the most recent one, which is 7.92 megabytes, click here and as we can see the download percentage already appears, which is being downloading it's already 5% 6%, well, all that's left to do is wait for it to reach 100% then that's how it's done so then you have to follow the steps that I'm teaching you in this video.
Well, as you can see, I've already downloaded the backup that I wanted to download with this method, with this program, well, I already have it, well, you can see here, there's already a little check, that's how it should appear to you too when the complete download is done, so, for example, this backup, I already have it in a local and no longer in drive, that is, it is still in drive but I also have it in local, thanks to this method, then now I close. And as you can see, it also appears here in this other window. And as we can see we can restore the device, of course to the same WhatsApp account, from there we can restore it and see it, see what this backup contains, then when you have already downloaded your backup, then all that remains is to restore it to the device of course to the WhatsApp account you have and not to another. Export to the computer as we can also export to the computer that gives us the option to export to the computer. We give you to continue. Here it asks for our account number so we enter the WhatsApp account and click next. So since we already verified with the code that came to us on the phone, well then it already happened in the data calculation step as well as well now it goes through the last step which is the data analysis and here it says analyzing the backup of WhatsApp and well here the steps are finished, here it says scanning the WhatsApp backup and that's it, as you can see because we already have all the messages it contains, in my case all the messages that this has already appeared backup that I had just downloaded on Google Drive, now it is locally and I can even see that all those chats that appear, including photos as you can also see here, here select the photos option and well in my case I have 74 photos and well here all the photos appear at the same time, the context too. And of course all the messages, well there you can see that all my WhatsApp messages appear here. Absolutely everything from photos, videos, audios, text conversations, stickers, etc. Well, as you can see, well that's it, this is my backup because it was in the Google Drive, because only in Google Drive they cannot be downloaded. But thanks to this method, you can already download the backup copies in the drive and convert it in local and at the same time see those messages that contain those backup copies already having of course in local. And then with this option you can also export all the chat messages either in PDF or in HTML or XLS format and export. Here I am going to do an export so you can see how this works. I'm going to do with this chat. I'm going to look for the folder. Right here I'm going to download I mean I'm going to create a new folder. Chat export, chat nothing else I put. Select folder, as you can see it already appeared here. So I select here and then do the export. Ready, the folder opened automatically, here it says check the exported files, go back to see the exported data, ready, WhatsApp chats. Here I exported it in a HTML format. Well, these are my messages or this is the complete chat that I recovered as you can see because there appear text conversations as well as photos at the same time.
and the multimedia files, well, I also download it separately, a part it appears here in the file format that together with the text conversations and since I also download them in a separate folder, as you can see, everything is completely complete there. And that's it, so this was today's video tutorial here at Technology Robone, it was useful share the video like comment also I invite you to subscribe here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, as well as follow me on my different pages of social networks and can also join the channel to support our work as well. And remember, always stay tuned for new videos especially on this channel because most of all the videos are about WhatsApp recoveries and any file on phones and computers, also Messenger, well that's what I teach the most here on this channel, so always be on the lookout for new restore and file recovery videos on computers, phones, etc. By Technology Robone, Roberto Ben